It's a pair of seagulls. Oh, there's three of them. nights ago I was dreaming about trapped birds again. That's what that's how they refer to these mind controlled birds as trapped in my dreams. That is a hawk. Uh-oh. Crows. Okay, so the wind's gonna start blowing now. I just was walking across in the street and it was as if the Sharpie fell out of the sky. And it's not the first time that happened. And here comes the second helicopter of the day. I wonder if I'll see it or if I'll just hear it. So it was like the Sharpie fell out of the sky. And that's happened before with the peanut butter jar. And in fact, I was just thinking about that this morning, about how they knock things out of trees. So I heard a helicopter blade for just a second and then I don't hear it anymore. So at first I thought it was a crow dropping a walnut. That's what I thought it was. They're going for the last walnuts, but maybe that's, you know, and that's the other thing is that tree, and that's another thing I was thinking about this morning, is that tree that I videoed <clears throat> on the 11th where all the leaves were blowing off, and I was talking about how the wind could change, you know, be changed, like with the push of a button, quickly. I remembered that very same tree I had um, walnuts get knocked off like in front of me twice. First time I was wondering if it was really something that had been done externally and then it happened a second time exactly the same way but opposite, walking the opposite direction. So a sharpie flew out of the sky. But it probably was somehow lodged. My theory is that with the peanut butter jar the same thing happened, a plastic peanut butter jar and that it's stuck in the tree somewhere, somehow, and then they just knock it out of the tree with a pulsed beam of some sort. But what I wonder about is how they can knock a set, you know, they will knock the exact walnuts out of the tree, like they just tap the exact branch that they want to hit and knock three walnuts out. Both times it was three walnuts exactly, boom, right in front of me. So they must be able to locate the like exact location of the walnuts on the tree to do that. It's interesting figuring out how they do things. In August of 1995, Yurok tribal member Willard Carlson Jr. was fishing on the Klamath River when he found himself the target of rocks being thrown from a distance. It was, it was huge. It wasn't no bear. Something across the river was throwing some large stones, called like a river bar rock, you know, probably this huge. And thrown with such great force from a great distance. In the water with such great force, it sounded like they would hit the bottom and hit another rock. And I don't have no gun, and so I started getting my boat. And whatever it was, it went ahead and kind of growled. 
and he and it turned away and walked up the hill. You could just hear her. going through the brush. While Carlson never saw the creature, he knows that whatever it was had to be large enough and strong enough to throw a boulder the size of a basketball over 60 feet. <laughs> 